Fans, and here we are again for qualifying at the Hungaro Ring. Who will have tuned the perfect setup for their car? We'll find out soon. Well, the rain is falling here in Hungary, so my pre-weekend prediction of a Lewis Hamilton pole might just be in jeopardy. A wet track is always a challenge, even for the best drivers. But Lewis has proven he can drive well in the rain. Ultimately, though, it's the strategy the team and driver decide on that could have the biggest impact on his race tomorrow. Here we are in the Hungaro ring in Hungary, obviously. And we are ready to go. Um, so just putting in our one shot quali lap here. Hoping for top 10 is what we've uh, been qualifying lately, anyway. Um, so we're going to have a go at that. We always stay close to Lewis Hamilton in about P1 ish every, um, every weekend. And just sort of lose it on a couple of corners and end up back in sort of P9, P8, but we're doing extremely well here in P3, or P1, we're up into P1, taking a bit wide round the corner, off the track a little bit, but still in P1, Button has got some immense speed round these corners, and he's still in P1, not quite sure where Lewis Hamilton is, he got P1 back for a minute, so he's close, we are literally tenths of a second, oh he's past us now, Brilliant lap by Jensen, he's hitting all the apexes, couple of wide corners, that was a good corner there. That's one that I normally struggle with, running wide, but Hamilton's got in front. Couple of corners now, just to keep it tight, keep in the top ten, maybe even top five. This is a corner I struggle with pretty much every time, but I've kept that nice and tight, nice and tight. And he's coming off, Hamilton's in the lead at the moment, going around the final corner onto the straight, and Button has P1. Can he keep the speed up down the straight here? Button has P1. Jensen Button has just got P1 in Hungary. He is going to be starting on the front of the grid. Wow. What a qualifying from Jensen Button. My God, that has come from absolutely nowhere. Jensen Button was fastest in today's qualifying session, so he starts from the clean side of the track and from pole position for tomorrow's Grand Prix. Well, he's on the front row and on the clean side of the grid, so unless he gets a poor start, the other drivers might have trouble getting anywhere near him tomorrow. Welcome to the twisting corners of the Hungaro Ring, a popular track which has crowned two world champions in its history. It's time for the Hungarian Grand Prix. For a former world champion with over 250 race starts under his belt, Jensen Button's never been known for his strong qualifying pace, but the time he set to take pole position was simply stunning. If he drives like that today, I wouldn't bet against him bringing home the victory for McLaren. He's definitely going to be difficult to beat today, but anything can happen. So we'll have to keep a close eye on how this unfolds over the course of the race. It's been a really disappointing season so far for Red Bull. They aren't getting the points that they believe the car is worthy of. After such a successful run, things certainly aren't going so well now. However, facing a bit of adversity often brings out the best in a team of people that are used to winning. It will be interesting to see if Red Bull can respond. Here we are in Hungary, starting from the front of the grid. This will be an epic race. There is no doubt about it. And I even forgot lights out. Going down to the first corner, Jensen's already lost. Down to P3, can he outbreak them into the corner? Contact though with Hamilton. Hamilton has been spun. Hamilton's dropped. But Jensen still has P1, we will forget about Lewis Hamilton for now, taking it wide round that corner a little bit. There we go, still got P1. Wide there, he's going to have to have one hell of a race to keep this. He's got Nico right behind him, biting at these tyres. This is a lot further up the field that Jensen is used to battling with. 
and uh, just onto Lewis Hamilton. I think he's dropped down to about eighth and ninth now after that. Um, so uh, a bit disappointed for him, but it's helped us. So thank you, Lewis. Anyway. Hopefully going to put in the fastest lap. Probably the first time that Jensen would have put fastest lap in this season. Taking it very on narrow around this corner. Just trying to defend Nico. That is going to be the issue now. How long can Jensen keep Nico behind him? The longer he can keep Nico and then Vettel behind him. It, the chance. Look at that. Fastest lap. 1 minute 32 and he's moving onto the inside of this corner now. Trying to defend Nico. Just very well keeping Nico away from him, making sure he's not going to make that move. And he's still in P1 after lap two. On to the end of lap two now. Not managed to pull away, but he still has P1. Um, Nico is going to have DRS, I think. Maybe not yet, but he's got the straight line speed. And he's kept him on the outside again. Oh, he's gone way too wide around that corner. And Jensen has lost P1. Just tried breaking too late into that corner. Overran it. And Nico just popped around the inside. Now it's how long you can keep Vettel behind him. Or can he keep up with Nico and use a bit of DRS? That's the question. Vettel. Oh, sorry. Raikkonen. Sorry. Raikkonen. He's behind it. He's taking that corner very wide. Giving Raikkonen the opportunity to get ever so closer. Nico's not managed to pull away yet. Wow, what a race going on so far for Jensen Button. Still got Nico in his sights. There is no room for him to overtake him. And I can't see him doing it on that um, the front straight. Nico, he's going wide again. And that's going to give Raikkonen the opportunity, but he didn't take it just think that Jensen is worrying too much about defending rather than driving the track and he's making some silly mistakes maybe going a little too wide around there I can see Raikkonen here with DRS taking P3 Nico's gone Nico is well out of the second range for DRS I think just put up a 127 there is Raikkonen an easily breezing pass with DRS. Can he outbreak him into the corner? Yes, he can. And he doesn't run it wide like he did on lap three. And he's still got P2. Great rare two by Jensen. Oh, he's running wide. He's giving Raikkonen the opportunity. On to lap four. Coming on to lap five here. Obviously, Raikkonen is right behind with DRS. And you can see him making the move again. But can Jensen outbreak him into the corner? Jensen's taking the inside line. Letting Raikkonen just move outside. Can he keep it? Easily if he's not. Oh, it's wheel to wheel. Here we're Raikkonen around the corner. Raikkonen's yielded. And Button still has P2. What a race by Jensen so far. He's run wide. He's given Raikkonen the opportunity. He had to stay out of the way though. Has Raikkonen got it? Wheel to wheel. Oh, can he keep it? Raikkonen's going to get it, I think. Oh, oh, he tried his best. He ran wide around that second corner and just could not keep Raikkonen at bay. Tried to keep the pace up, but Raikkonen's speed of that Ferrari engine showed in the end. And he's dropped down to P3 now. And it's down to fighting Bottas, I think. It was still quite, probably up more than a second behind. Raikkonen's already started to slowly pull away. On to lap six now. Coming on to lap seven. This straight has proved a problem for the McLaren. For Jensen Button. Obviously we've known all season that the lack of straight line speed has been a problem for this McLaren. Oh and he's give Bottas that inside line and Bottas has used it. Contact though with Bottas round the corner. Oh, more contact. Oh, big contact though from Vettel. And he's knocked him out of the way. Bottas has made contact. And he's down to P5 though from contact. 
I'm not quite sure whose fault that was. Jensen went wide and Vettel and Bottas, I think, both hit him. And he's dropped to P5 now. And that has damaged it a little bit. As he could have held on for a couple more laps holding Vettel and Bottas behind. But they've both got past now and they will probably speed off. Coming out of the pits now on lap 10. Coming out in P4, P5, Vettel's just gone past us. Now we have to try and battle back. Vettel and Bottas have already pitted. And it's down to us now to try and pick up. Look at the gap already. Got Grosjean behind us in sixth. So that is a massive distance. Uh, I think between us and Grosjean, I can't see him anywhere. Um, the best chance we have is taking the opportunity while Vettel and Bottas are battling each other to maybe even skip past them both back up to P3. One would do, but we're already closing in on them. They're battling hard. Bottas is, Bottas is holding off Vettel at the moment. Look how close we got to Vettel on that corner. Can we make a move over the next couple of corners just nipping round one of them? Bottas is holding up Vettel to no end. But can Button capitalise? Here we go. Round these last couple of corners on lap 10. Can he just maybe nip round the inside of it? Or is he going to try and make the move on the straight? Oh, he's going round the outside. Can he make it round the outside of Vettel? And he's made it up to Pete Ball. What a brilliant move by Jensen Button. And now can he make a move on Bottas? Can he get Bottas? He's got DRS on this straight. He's probably not got the straight line speed. And Bottas is already slowly pulling away. And Vettel's going to make the move as well. He can't defend. And he thinks... Oh, and contact with Bottas going into that corner. And he's got Bottas. Maybe a little help from the contact. Definitely a little help by the contact. But he's up to P3 and he's all over the place. Oh, so close to crashing. Oh, he's hit Bottas. What a mess of that corner as he lost... P he's down to P5 again! Up to P4, P5, P4! Has he got, he's got Bottas, maybe a bit more contact there from Bottas than he wanted. What? I'm not quite sure what was going on there, but he made contact with Bottas again on the same corner. Losing his place, he's got all the way up to P3 and in contact with Bottas, he drops to P5. On to lap 13, now still battling to get Vettel. Bottas is in the distance. I don't even think he's within a second anymore. We're now chasing Vettel and we're keeping up with him very well. Can we make a move around these last next couple of corners? Vettel obviously has the power and the speed of that Ferrari engine. But Jensen is just finding something we didn't really know this McLaren engine had around this hungry circuit he's keeping up with him very well he's just got to find an opportunity to make the move still another four laps to go after we finish this one there's plenty of time for him to make the move on Vettel he think he was going to try and go wide again around the outside but he couldn't make that move happen going onto the straight and he's gone extremely wide but can he do it? He's got the speed coming out of that corner. He's got DRS. Can he get Vettel? He's just done a personal best of 128 there, Button. Can he outbreak him into the corner? I think he's got him. He's got Vettel. He may have run 2 1. He's let Vettel get the place back. Oh, so close. He did so well to get down that straight. Overtake him. Just broke too late, giving Vettel the place back. He's still in P4, nearly hitting the back of Vettel. And off Vettel goes. Wow. What a race from Jensen. I mean, he's not going to have a race like this again this season. He's had so much trouble so far in terms of just not having straight line speed. He's had a lot of accidents. He's had a couple of incidents today, but he's got away with them. Corner, a bit of corner cutting there, but we'll let him off. Vettel flying away now. Can he keep up? Lap 14 here. Vettel slowly pulling away here. Just 
under this one second DRS mark, Bottas is 4.7 seconds away. Taking it wide, a bit wide around that corner. Can we get him? I think we're too far away yet. No, oh, it's gone wide again, but it seems to work for him. He just seems to get the speed down that straight. We have DRS, we are close enough for DRS. I don't think the car has the power to catch him. Vettel is pulling away. Can we outbreak him? Can we outbreak him? We've got the corner, we've gone too wide again, and we've given him back. We did the hard work of breaking into the corner, just didn't break soon enough and give Vettel P4, P3 back. And we're back into P4. Can we get him around this corner? We're incredibly close. Didn't want to make contact though and just had to back out. On to lap 16 here. Two laps to go. Get incredibly close to Vettel around that corner. Bot ass, bot ass, is just seemed to not have the grip on that corner. That's the second time we've done that. And so close to Vettel. Can we make a move round here? Can we get the speed through this corner? And Vettel's just pulling away. But Bottas, I think, is now over five seconds, maybe even over six. And we're so close to Vettel. Can we get him? We're going to make a move. We're going to try and go around the outside here. We have to, I think we've made the move. We've got him. We've got past Vettel. We're up to P3, what a move by Jensen! What a move by Jensen! Up to P3 and just takes the speed around the outside of that corner and I've no idea how Vettel let him ha that happen. But wow, what a move by Jensen, so much guts. Just to keep going around that corner, relying on the McLaren to keep the grip, not to slide off. But we're now also pulling away from uh, Vettel a little bit. What a race. On to lap 17 here. And we still have P3. Vettel is still close to us. He's still within DRS coming down that pit straight. But oh, taking that a bit wide. Not the best a couple of corners there. But P3. Even if we get P4. That's going to be an incredible finish for Jensen. And he's gone wide around that corner again. He's give Vettel the place back. He's lost that He's lost a place around that corner twice now, taking it wide. Both to Ferraris, one to Vettel now, and the previous one was to Riakin. And Can he take it around the outside? He's gone a bit too wide this time. This is purely between Vettel and Button now. Bottas is way back. And Vettel's gone. Vettel has picked up a one second gap just around that corner just seemed to pick the speed up from absolutely nowhere six seconds between Bottas and Button now and there's no worry about Bottas catching unless something drastic happens Vettel looks like he may be using that Ferrari engine just to pull away a bit of safety and finish the lap finish the race in P3 and we've got P4 which would be an incredible finish but the race is not over yet we still we're coming up on a Mauritius here which could cause some problems this could give us the chance to get past Vettel if the Mauritius holds up Vettel we could take an opportunity and pop around the outside of them both but on the other hand he could get in our way slow us down or even cause us to crash but we're getting close now Mary's not got the power of the speed to hold us back we're gonna get him on the straight I think can we get him before the corner? Can we break it hard into Vettel though? I think we did hit Vettel. We got past Merry there easily. Around this last corner. Trying to go around the inside using track limits. There, we're not happy, but we got P3. We're going to finish in P3, but we're going to get the five second penalty. Which will give Vettel P3 back. But we will have P4 because we are way past the five seconds above Bottas. What a cracking race by Jensen Button today. And he's not going to have another race like that. Wow. Just wow. Finishing in P4. And the team is disappointed because we got P1 in quali. But we all knew that was never going to stick to the end of the race. The car Mercedes have this year has shown again today with a brilliant race victory. It really was a great performance and one that I think will be remembered for a long time to come. That's it for today's Grand Prix. And from Ant and I, it's goodbye and see you again next time.
What a brilliant race. Nico Rosberg winning the race. Lewis Hamilton finishing in 11th there. Maybe a little bit due to us colliding in to him. But P4. Brilliant. And look at the championship. We are in 10th with 19 points. And Alonso is way back in 16th with 3. So I think we may have the team our teammate beat and there we are battling with Sauber and Toro Rosso for the points Lotus is way way ahead um, if this was your first time on our channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button we'd also love to hear your comments so leave them below um, also get your questions in for our podcast which is released every Thursday where we just review the news from the week well, we will be having F1 2015 series released every Tuesday. If you haven't watched that, I'm doing a series with Jensen Button going for the championship. Um, obviously, we've got Madden, which is released two videos a week. Haven't set a date, just going to be as and when. Uh, obviously, Dying Light is a big one at the moment, so they're coming out a couple of times a week. Um, uh, so don't forget to watch them if you want to buy any games for your PC or even Xbox or PSN membership go to www.g2a.com there's a link in the description um, just great great games for great prices so thanks again for watching and bye bye